Grade 7 math number 6.1a, adding and subtracting algebraic expressions. We can use the commutative property of addition and the distributive property to help us add and subtract algebraic expressions. If you're at home and you go two miles to a friend's house and then three miles to school, it's the same distance as going three miles to your friend's house and then back two miles to home. They're both five miles, so the commutative property is like a commute to school or to work and then the commute home. Commute see? And it says 2 plus 3 equals 5 just like 3 plus 2 equals 5. It doesn't matter which way we add, it has the same sum. And remember the distributive property is like a mother bird feeding her nestlings. She feeds the first one and then the second one. She doesn't want anyone to starve so she has to make sure she goes to each one. So it'd be like a 2 multiplied to a 3 and then we add that to 2 multiplied to 4. So we'd have a 6 plus an 8, we'd have 14. Each number in the parentheses gets multiplied by the number outside the parentheses. Okay? We can use these to help us. So Bob and Dave get paid per project, and Bob is paid a project fee of $35 plus $15 per hour for each hour he works. Dave is paid a project fee of $26 plus $20 for each hour he works. Write an expression to represent how much it'll cost to hire both of them to work on the same project for the same amount of hours. So, we've noted that Bob is $35 plus 15 per hour, and Dave is 26 for the project fee and $20 per hour, and now we can write our expression. It's going to be the project fee, the 35 and the 26, plus the hourly rate, the 15 and the 20, and we need to multiply that by how many hours they each work. So we put the 35 plus 15 H, because the H is going to represent times how many hours he works. And we put 26 plus the 20H for how many hours he works. And that's their combined pay. Now we use the commutative property to group them together. We move the 26 over by the 35. And we move the 15 over by the 20H. We combine the like terms. 35 and 26 are 61. And 15H and 20H is 35H. And that's as far as we go. That's as simplified as we can get. And it'll cost $61 plus $35 per hour to hire both Bob and Dave together. If we see this and it says to simplify, we can combine like terms 4x and 8x and get 12x. And a positive 1 fourth plus a positive half, well that's 2 fourths, so it's going to be 3 fourths. We have 12x plus 3 fourths. If we see this, this is an addition. 2y plus 5y is 7y, and if we're going to add a half plus a negative 2, that's going to put us into the negatives, because a half isn't big enough to take 2 away from, so it'll be a negative 1 and a half. See? And if we have a negative 0.75, well, that's not even 1 yet, right? And we need to take away 1.5x, that's going to be a negative 2.25x. And then the negative 2 take away 3.5 is going to be a negative 5.5. So it'll be rewritten, the whole thing, as negative 2.25x minus 5.5. And now we've combined all the like terms. If this is really confusing for you, you can get some extra help for adding and subtracting negative and positive integers by going to my Joanne School Grade 7 Math videos in the beginning of the playlist, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, and 1.4, and it'll cover this, okay? So maybe you can go back for a real quick review if you're confused about all this. We're going to talk about how the distributive property takes place in all of this in our next video, number 6.1b. I'll see you there. Bye.